Hi Scorpios, welcome to your reading for November. Thank you so much for tuning in. And of course, to so all my beautiful Sun Scorpios out there, I wish you an amazing birthday season. I hope you have an amazing day and feel love, feel blessed, and you're just gonna flow through this month like the goddess slash god that you are, okay? <laughs> I just hope you have an amazing time. And of course, as always, feel free to leave your birthday down in the comment box because you might be able to find your birthday twin or, you know, it also gives me an opportunity to congratulate you personally, okay? Now we got that out. Let's start talking about all these blessings that are coming towards you, okay? Because Scorpio, I still feel that similar energy from last month and speaking of that thank you guys so much with coming through with so many views on that reading and i just felt really loved and i felt connected to all of you so thank you so much for that and uh, of course a new scorpio subscribers welcome and my my loyal subscribers who's been with me for quite some time thank you so much i love every single one of you like to the moon and beyond okay it's not i'm not coming back i'm like staying up in that universe <laughs> Anyways, let's get started with your reading. Um, what I was hearing during meditation for you guys was, I'm too blessed to be stressed. Like, I'm too blessed to be stressed, too blessed to be stressed. So that's an energy that's coming up for you guys. You're starting to feel grounded, more grounded, and also more comfortable with receiving what you're receiving. And not really, uh, you know, you're receiving things with open arms. And that's also sort of the guidance that they're giving me to give you is to really try and and receive things with gratitude and open arms and i'm not afraid that it might be given to you to be just taken away the next moment and you know like that like you're afraid you might lose it again it's not that's not the lesson right now scorpio the lesson is is to embrace things and trust in that what comes to you is for you and is meant to be here and it will stay and the more you ease into that it's like okay it's really for me and my life is really shifting and i'm i'm leveling up and i'm changing things and i'm you know putting out you're going out with the old and in with the new and all of that energy then trust that that is also you know your payout and that's here for you because you've been doing the inner work a lot of my scorpions have been to going through it in a month in the year of 2019 to evolve to grow you know and grow is not always pretty and cute and in between the lines sometimes it's a little messy but it's growth and it's important and i feel you guys are getting your payouts in your birthday season and also the months after that so what's building up right now is this frequency that you for you to ease into to feel to pick up on and to work with and that's just you know that's a higher frequency it's very high and the moment i start doing this reading i start to feel like I can breathe better, you know, because I woke up this morning and I was like spiritual, getting hella attacked. I wasn't even sure if I want if I could do readings today. But the moment I started to meditate on my Scorpios, I was like, I'm good, I'm fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, oh, this feels so much better. So I could say sit here all day and just be in your guys' energy. Okay, I'm not taking anything away. I'm just joining in. <laughs> I'm no, you know, vampire over here. Okay, I'm just flowing with you guys. Anyway, um, I tried to do this reading this morning earlier on and the mic wasn't plugged in, right? And um, I was like, you know what? That was meant to be. So I feel right now as well it's like you know certain messages will still come true from the other reading but we're just gonna flow into the energy that's now it's now afternoon and let's see what's coming out for you you see you have three cards three cards oh yeah before i forget because i will otherwise um message came true very strongly watch out for the numbers too um it's like 2 to 22 you know all of that um but it's a special message in you in it for you guys this month because they also show me like two things like if you see a two in something um for example you're at the store and it's like there's like this empty space and there's just two products of something left and it's just it, i don't know you will pick up on it on a, in a natural way maybe you have already noticed it's like hey, it's weird everything is in, comes in two right now and it's also because the message in it is it takes two to tango it takes two but it's also you and your higher self because they want you to start 
speaking, living, breathing, eating from your spiritual truth. You know, so it's you and your higher self working together as a team. It takes two. Um, is what I'm, what I keep hearing. So it's um, it's both. You know, and it makes you feel a lot more balanced. So that's a side note. Watch the tools, okay? Mm, let's see. Beautiful. Look at this. A new beginning. Four of emotion and nine of emotion. You're at the beginning. Look how beautiful you are guided. This is sort of the full card. You know, from the regular tarot. You are at the beginning of a wonderful journey, Scorpio. There's no need to have any fear as guardian angels walk right beside you every step along the way. You have unique gifts to offer the world if you will just free yourself from what and which holds you back. New opportunities will present themselves if you truly believe. So that's the thing. Open up. And believe that it's coming in for you receive it with gratitude receive it with grace that's just so beautiful look at that it's coming in it's a new chapter just because your life has gone in a certain way just because 2019 was all in a certain way doesn't mean that can shift there's not a shift in energy mercury is in your sign mercury is going direct oh sorry mercury is going direct on the 20th so most of your you know season it will be in retrograde but that for you is very positive actually because it gives you an opportunity to put shit, uh, stuff on hold and look at it almost like in a slow motion scene you know you know those movies where uh, everything stops and then they can actually move through you know and set things straight a little bit you know you are getting that opportunity i don't know um you know, if you've seen a movie like that, when I do that or a series or whatever, but that's you, you are getting the opportunity to, to function in when the time is stopped, you know, and everybody's standing still like this and you're just moving and, you know, putting something else or, you know, adjusting things in that room. That's sort of your opportunity in the month of November is what I'm seeing. Okay, let's move on. Four of emotions. There are wonderful people who wish to help you. Opportunities are being offered to you, but you are noticing or trusting the gifts heaven is bestowing on you. They're very clear. Like, I don't know if it's for all my Scorpios that are listening, but there are certain Scorpios that, that know. Like, you know, you've been sort of questioning your gifts. Like, is it going to get taken away? Is it really for me? Is this really the time? You know, it's like that. Question it. Also trying because I'm hearing that very strongly. Like, I just don't want to be disappointed. So I'd rather just stay, you know, neutral and not be too excited. Because I just don't know how to deal with that disappointment if it doesn't work out in the end. You know, and sort of self-protecting. But it's also self-blocking. You know, it's a little self-sabotaging. Try and flow with it. Um look around you daydreaming or going within is a healthy way to get clarity as long as you act upon your dreams it's important to you know trust the universe it's trying to bring you that trying to bring you towards that point where you want to work towards something that's in alignment with you know all parts of you my body and spirit you know it's important that these coming months you know that's what i want to say as well your birthday is coming up well at least if you're son scorpio your birthday is coming up wow would it really hurt you to give yourself these next 12 months until your birthday is around again to just do what you love to do to just give everything to um you know being and staying in alignment doing things that make you happy like are you willing to give yourself these 12 months to really follow your heart and make your dreams come true you know i think you should give yourself that as a birthday present write down your goals you know be open be free with that and and it has to do with your spiritual truth so your spiritual destiny and if you follow that like make that list write yourself a, a birthday letter and set those goals and give yourself those 12 months to just do and follow that because it's around right now it's like it's a new journey that's about to come in you know to your life basically okay there's a magical time in your life 
sorry, this is a magical time in your life when wishes are granted and dreams do come true. It may seem that good luck is following you, but actually these times are just a reward for being such a loving and wonderful person. Your angels are asking you to enjoy your life and have more fun. Come on. <laughs> that, that shouldn't be that hard, Scorpio. Come on, enjoy your life and have some fun. So enjoy the things that you have reached, you know, celebrate your life. And maybe you're not completely where you want to be, but you are definitely where you are supposed to be right now. That's something I know for sure. So, and then we move, move forward. Okay. Those were the messages from the angels. Let's get into the tarot. I'm going to ring the bell, release some of that fear and allowing... You know these beautiful things to come in one more time oh I really felt that one could you guys feel it there was no block there was, it was just a ringing singing like that all right beautiful that's a great sign. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> That's it. That's it. You see, eight of swords, five of wands, moving away from those that mental energy of like, is it for me? Is it working this time? When is it coming in? How is it coming in? Who am I supposed to call? You know, all those questions and, and feeling like you're stuck and like you're dealing with so much competition or internal battles, basically. If like, I'm trusting it. I'm not trusting it. I don't know. I do know. I feel like this, but I don't know if I do. You know, like that back and forth, back and forth, and you're done. You're just like, no, but you know what? This chariot here is right in front of my door and I'm gonna get on it and I'm gonna write that road towards success, towards victory, to um let those moments of pain let those moments of doubt and all that anxiety and all that fear to at least have a purpose so i can you know have victory over it let it have a purpose what i'm hearing like through the dark to the darkness into the light you know and the darkness has a purpose because the light shines brighter when you come out of the dark you know it gives you that 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 sense of gratitude and acknowledgement that this is light and that was dark you know it gives you a perspective basically so we're gonna give these hard times these hardships purpose not to keep you stuck not to keep you you know negative or you know just feel like it's just gonna go like this over and over and over no it's about hey it's a part of my success story and i'm ready to get into this chariot to the next chapter for some of you, and I'm just giving a side note, a cancer might be on your mind and you feel you don't really know what to do, okay? Or you might be on the mind of a cancer energy because it's a Mercury retrograde and it's your birthday season and it's in your sign, you know? So basically, it could be that people are thinking of you. That, that's an opportunity as well. They're just not, they're not making any moves though. That's what I, I, I want to say not right now at least this could change but right now as i see they're just yeah taking that break here we go you see you're taking a break away from this energy you're trusting the timing you're trusting the divine timing as well what oh look at that scorpio that's amazing like look at that you have the chariot card with the four of wands and then the sun comes out so there's the light i told you the darkness into the light it had purpose i feel like you're starting to feel uh lighter again like you know hey i got this opportunity there we go your money looking good as well queen of uh pentacles is coming out because i feel that you are starting to receive the gifts and then starting to wear it as well you know you um for example if you receive certain messages you know from your intuition or things like that and you're actually wearing them in the sense of that you're 
believing and trusting in your intuition and it's like okay i'm, I'm receiving these downloads i'm receiving these messages and i hold that that i have value for that like as a queen i i wear my abilities my my um talents and my skills you know it's like you see yourself as the queen of pentacles you're much more stable that's what i felt in the beginning already your guys are grounding you know a lot better and it just looks beautiful so if you're worried about money and just making you suck you're about to make a move that brings in that that financial stability and peace of mind i see a lot of peace of mind i see a lot of okay i'm a laid back and i'm a relax <laughs> and justice and that's all set off because you've put in the work and you did great things and that's the thing like it's an it's also good karma payout so what i'm hearing it's because it was coming for you it's like it's because of the good person that you are here we go there are your ships coming in <laughs> this is so major if we look at like sorry so ma minor if we're looking at whatever is coming up next you know you got things balanced it's all about the balance things can come in it was an internal shift it wasn't about anybody else or anything else it was a shift that happened in you and then you attract different type of people different type of situations you know there we go this one wanted to come out came out in your first reading as well it's important that whatever good things are coming to you right now, it's important to move silently, all right, as much as possible. Like, of course, with the close people, you know, next to you, but overall, if you're receiving the things, if things come in, try and move in silence a little bit in the month of October, because you have some energy around you that it's not like it's bad people or the intentions are like horrible or anything like that, but they are very low frequency right now and so they are not really capable of being happy for another person or wanting to see somebody else win i feel they're going through their own dark night of the soul and that's reflect they're reflecting that onto you and your success so if you know you have a person around that and it's connecting what i'm seeing right now it's nothing personal they're just not in the right energy so don't expect them to like celebrate your success with you at this time and just don't even try and receive that from them right now because it's just going to put a damp on your success and on the things that you're receiving so that's just what i'm i just wanted to give as a side note one to seven of anything else that wants to come out with the seven of swords we already had a flip over and that was yeah again again it's the same thing that came out <laughs> I guess that energy is still there, huh? Um, yeah, that's the thing. It's. I also feel that for some of you, somebody can come off as a knight and be like, I like you, you know, I have fun with you and all of that. But their feelings for, towards you are much more serious than they let on to. Okay, if that's connecting to you, then that's a message for you. Um, but i feel there's somebody around you that holds their emotions close to their chest maybe this is you but it's like you're not completely opening up and that's very important in the month of november is that it's not about what you say it's about how you say it you should be able to say anything and to share your emotions and your feelings okay it's important to get it out because if you keep holding it in it's gonna it's going to manifest within you and you're going to attract things that make you more confused, make you like attract things that you have to be silent about, you know, and all of that and have to keep in and it start building up and start to attract all these delay delays. And I just want you guys to have an amazing month. Okay. And months actually. So it's not about what you say. It's about how you say it. And if you say things in a certain way, then it's just expressing you and your emotions. So there's nobody that can go around that. It's like, I feel that, um, you know, for example, like I feel a little left out. I mean, maybe it's not personal, but I just want to share my emotions with you. And then the other person cannot say, well, you feel that wrong. Cause you, how can somebody tell you that you feel something wrong, right? That's weird. You can't say a person that they're, 
they're feeling that is you know wrong it's no it's like your opinion is your opinion is your feeling is your feeling but the thing is is that i know that you're leaving me you know you're leaving me out on purpose and things that's that's like a totally different case like i'm not i'm not leaving you out i'm not making you feel like you know it's like i'm not doing that i'm not it's about an act it's not about the act it's about how it makes you feel and you should always be able to share that and you shouldn't even like because the thing is if you don't share your emotions and feelings with people first of all they're just going to continue doing the way that they did it because they don't hear anything from you of course that's you know logic they will not change if there's no change you need it but also you're showing yourself i'm not worthy of expressing my feelings and emotions i'm not worthy of that that's literally an energy you're sending out because you're keeping it in you know it of course pick your battles in a way um but if it's a person that's really close to you then you should be able to open up okay that's that's it i'm not going to go down too deep into that right now but i wanted to get that out for some of you here we go queen of swords so it could be dealing with a libra yeah we got it's the same thing it's um the Aquarius it could be sorry Aquarius or Libra energy Gemini as well but overall what I feel with this is that you are standing in your right if you speak your mind you know it's about be clear be upfront be honest but do it in a queen of swords way you know see softer than a queen of, of uh, sorry the king of swords it's like it's okay to be Firm. it's okay to be really straightforward but it's about how you say it's not about what you're saying so i feel you like you're released some of you are releasing some of the hurt and the disappointments in the past and you're starting to really opening up to receive what's coming for you and starting to believe and trust into that again that's very important the healing of the heart chakra be open then there we go queen of wands yes baby <laughs> beautiful you see this is really coming back into alignment with your softer more nurturing side but also with your self-confidence you know knowing that you're worthy knowing that you're deserve to um be celebrated be loved but also that you deserve to heal and deserve to share your emotions and feelings with you know how people make you feel basically but i feel you're you're straightening up your back you're taking a deep breath in and you're ready to conquer you're ready to move on you're ready to take the next step and you're ready to come out of this you know stagnation and confusion and all of that it's like something happens something shifts within you and you just end up feeling so much lighter and so much better let me get one more clarification there we go there's the fool again you see you're taking a break away from this and then you're ready to start that new beginning that start that new journey there we go nine of cups you're getting something you really wanted like you really are being spoiled by the universe right now okay scorpio <laughs> you're getting spoiled okay but you deserve it okay um beautiful if there's some of you are looking for a job it's coming in okay it's coming in it's a yes card you're getting accepted i feel some of you uh, want to start a certain school i do feel that it's coming towards you as well doors are opening up for you walk through them that's the only thing you have to do right now as long as you don't hide your feelings and emotions and are healing it and opening up to the new things and also because if you don't release this energy this is past energy it just blocks your blessings and i really want you guys to win man i really do so much queen energy strong queen of swords queen of pentacles queen of wands king of cups you know you're dealing with high energy people grown people but it's all in their highest energy so you have a lot of beautiful people around you that can actually help you forward as well you know like i said 
don't be afraid to ask for help because that's also a proof that of self-love and and uh care there we go ace of wands okay i do feel there's an energy around somebody crazy about you okay and they will come forward in the month of of november like they're coming towards you it's like scorpio you know and it's a perfect opportunity to come back when somebody birthday you know the most casual way to get back in touch so <laughs> prepare for that one i'm just saying uh page of swords and the hangman yeah and there we have the beautiful four of ones okay so the piece is coming back there is some energy around you like i said some people that just don't really know how to be happy for you right now because it's something within themselves it has nothing to do with you um doesn't make them bad people either it's just going through it you know and then it's, it's a wise to just take some distance from them while they're on their pathway towards healing and here of the pace of swords with the hangman meaning that it doesn't really hold anything you know i do see some people checking out your your uh social media with just your energy checking up on you you know a little bit but it's nothing major they're just a page it's nothing and you're the queen of swords so you can just you know cut it out <laughs> it's fine like it's nothing major it's just trust in divine timing and don't like if it doesn't all come in in the month of november it's like oh you see it's not for me like no it is for you but you have to pick up on that higher energy stream you know you have to embody this energy of the chariot and the queen of pentacles queen of wands sit there straighten your back knowing that you deserve it and then it's coming in for you because there's no delays around you it's not what i'm seeing beautiful reading and i'm so excited because look at this two of cups as well beautiful beautiful okay there is some energy with the three of swords with the seven of swords but it will show itself i'm not seeing you end up hurting or anything like that but it's like somebody's speaking out their emotions and feelings okay that's something that it really is for you because it came out in both readings and i just needed to let you guys know that but it's a good thing because this one also came out in both readings and so did the queen of wands so you are you're good <laughs> it's beautiful embrace that energy scorpio okay i'm gonna get a pick a card reading i'm sorry i'm going to do a pick a card reading i'm going to get three cards for you guys let me see we just use that deck let's pick up this deck goddess guidance because we had so many kings and queens in the reading let's flow with that three cards for my scorpios okay one two and this one okay three um i'm gonna ring the bell one more time so you guys can take some time to pick your card let's go all right one more time Hey Scorpio first card undying love beautiful the love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation so no matter what the outcome had you know might have been or is or will be you have given from the purity of your heart you know you have been giving real love and sending out that energy is always planting seeds you will not always get it back through the same person through the same situation but it is manifested you know it's it's an undying love meaning that you have shared that frequency and it's eternal regardless of the situation so if you give purely and you're not really receiving it through the same channel you will always get it back through something else okay so um, don't become bitter when a love and you know when you put in years and years of of love and attention and then it has a certain outcome that doesn't mean that everything you 
you've put in energy in and stuff is wasted time a wasted energy a wasted love no you gave freely and you will always get it back in one way or the other you know that's something you should trust because it is really true then we have quiet time take some time alone to rest meditate and contemplate i really feel it has to do with that four of swords energy where we just you know had in the reading it's about taking some time to really go over okay what, what how was this year you know what will i like different next year and um, what am i going to allow myself to start doing or stop doing and all of that it's uh, taking some time to really take that energy in basically let's go with the card number three Ooh, there we go prosperity the universe is pouring its abundance onto you be open to receive be open to receive that's like your main message for the month of november just be open have your heart open to receive and receive with grace and with gratitude because that will really help you scorpios all right i love you guys happy 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 birthday like i said feel free to leave your birthday in the comment box i love you guys to the moon and beyond and i'll be back soon and feel free to uh subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and hit that bell thingy because then you get a notification when i'm going live because i do more lives lately and i really enjoy it and i would love to see you guys there so thank you and i'll be back soon bye scorpios bye birthday babes <laughs>